I do not recommend these TPMS, tire pressure monitoring sensors. So I chose to review these because my wife has a 2006 Toyota Prius and three out of the four tire pressure sensors in it have completely dead batteries. Um, and so she was always having a check tire pressure light on her dash. Um, so I paid a tire shop $95 to install these guys. Um, they programmed correctly, they read correctly with my reader. I relearned the um, control unit in the car to these particular IDs. And they almost worked. 99% of the time, they worked perfectly. Um, you know, so the problem is when she's driving it for 30 minutes to an hour, somewhere in there, the tire pressure light's going to start flashing yellow. And it'll do that for 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and then it'll stop. Um, and so I figure that it's missing a check-in from one of the sensors. I couldn't find any error codes or anything, so I can't say like one particular sensor is the problem, so I can't like replace one sensor and fix it. Um, and so they're not working. You know, they work 99.9% .9 of the time, but for something like this, if it cries wolf every day, it's not as useful. Now my wife's able to say, hey, I'll ignore it for a minute or two. If it doesn't go away, then I'll check the tires. Um, and so having them mostly working is better than having no warning at all. Um, so they're mostly doing what they're supposed to do, but you know, having that light come on randomly for no good reason is not acceptable. So definitely don't recommend buying them. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of the video after this um, so you can see the process for installing TPMS sensors, relearning, programming them. It'll, that process works for any sensor, um, but don't buy these particular sensors. That's the little yellow flashing light that says, hey, we're not getting data from your TPMS sensors in this car. This is a set of tire pressure monitoring sensors um, for Toyota vehicles. There are 315 megahertz for the radio frequency. Um, and so basically this guy will install in your car's um, wheel and report on the pressure inside the tire. Now, probably the hardest part about this guy is getting it installed in the wheel. Um, and so unless you're familiar with taking tires off wheels and putting them back on and then balancing the wheel, you probably want to have a tire shop do that. Um, the second hardest part, of course, is pairing them with your car. And so to do that, either the tire shop or yourself is going to need a programmer reader that can get the IDs out of these guys plug in the OBD2 port on your car and say, hey car, listen for these four sensors, those are the new sensors. So I'm going to have a tire shop install these in my Toyota Prius and then we will program them so that the Prius will be able to tell the tire pressure in each of the tires. Okay, I've read all four sensors and the sensor IDs match what is written on the sensor here. Now when you're doing this, you can't just do it with these sensors within a foot or two because my, my sensor reader was you know, picking these guys up even if they weren't the one I was holding directly up here. Um, you really have to have them either on the four opposite corners of a car or just walk each sensor away from the other three when you do the read. But I've confirmed that all four of these sensors work. The IDs are read by this guy here which means I'll be able to program it into the car with this guy once they're put in the wheels. Now I'm going to show you the super easy way to get these inside your wheels. So what you do to change these out super easy is you take your car to the local tire shop and you give them the credit card. Um, my tire shop only charged me $95 here. They basically said, well, it's basically a rotate balance. Um, you know, they charged, you know, a certain amount of money to take the wheels off and take the tires off the wheels and swap them in and out. Um, you might find they charge a little more than that. That's a relatively low end of this service, I would say. Um, they even gave me the old old ones out of the tire. Um, so some shops will refuse to install TPMS sensors that they don't buy themselves. A lot of times that's because they're not sure if it'll work with their particular reader writer. Um, so if you have your own TPMS reader writer, you can say, hey, I don't want you to program these. I don't want you to relearn them. I just want you to install them. Um, and a lot of shops will be willing to do that for you if you ask. So the particular tool I'm using is the T2000 Pro from Foxwell. Um, I've reviewed this in a different video. I've been pretty happy with it. But because I don't know which wheel they put which sensor into, um, I do have to relearn the positions of each of these. So I just have to get near the sensor on the indicated wheel and it will figure out which sensor is on which wheel. Mm. 
It also tells me the uh, PSI they've inflated my tires to. In case I want to check that. All right, now that my tool knows which sensors are in which wheel, it's time to relearn and tell the car computer. To do that, we need to plug in this ODB-II or ODB-2 connector cable to the car's um, ODB-2 port. So on my car, that's down here underneath the steering wheel. Now instead of sensor activate, we go down to sensor learning and we basically say OBD relearn. Ignition switch is turned on, the car is actually running, and it is communicating with the car's computer here. So we have a 0% at the bottom. You can see it's not super fast, but off it goes. And it says, OK, well, there's the things for your tires. You press F1 for OK. We do not have a TPMS sensor in the spare tire, and so we are going to um, press the yes key because we're skipping activation of the spare tire. All right, it says it was successful. You can see up here that little yellow um, indicator has gone away. So we no longer have an error because we can't find the tire pressure. And we have down here the information from the position and the activation ID and the electronic control unit ID. And you can see that they match. Um, there's nothing for the spare tire. So yes, these TPMS sensors advertised for a 2006 Toyota Prius work just fine on it. Um, they're working, connecting with the car, and everything's working the way it's supposed to.